All right, just how do you read a what happened? capacitor, back of capacitor, and you put your negative lead on the negative part, and your positive lead right here. That reads 920. It's a thousand microfarads. So that's on the board line of being bad. This one you can tell it's bad and bust it totally. And uh, that one's bulged. But if you read it, it's a hundred and it should be a thousand. So if it's under like, I think it's 10% uh, of its value. Now it says 1,000 microfarads, 16 volt. You want to make sure you get the same volts too. And the, the heat, it tells you the heat too. You kill that off. See how it says the heat? Where my thumb is. You want that value to be the same, 16 volt or higher. We we'll try to get 16 volt the same and 1,000 microfarads volt. You want all, everything, all the values to be the same when you replace it. And here's another one that's bulged, but not like completely blown. So let's go ahead and uh, measure that one. That reads two, about like 300. And uh, that's definitely bad. And it's supposed to be a thousand microfarads. I got this out of the LCD monitor, bad one. Post it in uh, my channel, YouTube channel, if you want to see it. But that's how you uh, read uh, capacitors. Hope that helped. And you have to get a, this is the meter that you want, by the way. Capacitor meter. And you have to read it out of circuit. If you read capacitor in circuit, you don't get accurate reading.